two or more any right or privilege or cure shall be fined not more than ten thousand and ten thousand in years if both if death results shall be subject to, to life deprivation of rights under the color of law ordinance regulations customs any inhabitant of the state territory deprives or immunities secured or to different punishments, pains, or penalties on account of such punishment of citizens, bodily injury, yeah, bodily injury, War crimes, um, Geneva Convention banned. Applying beatings, electric shock, burns, other forms of physical pain. Yes. Subject to torture or cruel, inhumane, degrading. Treatment or punishment accordance with and as defined in U.S. law. Humiliating or degrading treatment would be admissible in the tribunals. Manuals reiterated that no person in the custody or under the control, regardless specific techniques prohibited, collection manual include forcing detainees, hooding, applying beatings, electric shock, waterboarding, depriving detainees of necessary food, water, medical care, yeah. I have gotten improper medical care also. It also mandates that person involved in ordering, allowing, and even insufficiently preventing and prosecuting war crimes is criminally liable under the command responsibility doctrine. I mean, how many more of these? Like, I got 37 open pages. Affidavit, FBI, stalking. What do we got under stalking? We already know it's bad under the stalking, so... Sonic weapons... Various types that use sound, injure, incapacitate, or kill an opponent. Limited use to, in research, military and police forces. 
Weapons have been described as sonic bullets, sonic grenades, sonic mines, cannons, mecha focus beam of sound, or ultrasound. So, like, I don't want people to get in trouble. I don't. But I don't want to be tortured anymore. And since I have a good idea of where it began, who started it, and then the fact that I was betrayed and it ended up here is mind-blowing.